I built the Minecraft movie trailer in Minecraft. And all it cost was my sanity. Windmills aren't real. This is fake. It's a figment of your imagination. Is that a chicken? Is there a freaking chicken on the roof? What does that mean? The chicken broke me. Was it worth it? Let's find out. I am Philquan. <laughs> and I am a man, turtle, thing, who enjoys large scale recreations. Today, that recreation is the background to the Minecraft movie trailer. Why? Because it looks fun. I like a good challenge. And I'm chasing that sweet, sweet Minecraft movie I've trained for a personal gain. Let's dive right in. Our first and most significant hurdle is scale. So what I'm gonna do is take this simple tower, recreate it in my Minecraft world, and then use it to approximate the width and height of this massive central arc. This did not work. This did not work at all. And we have a workable shape. Let's hop into a time lapse to finish the basic shape of our arc. Okay, and now that we have ourselves a basic shape and magical little seahorse that my girlfriend, who has never played Minecraft before, randomly decided to build in the middle of my time lapse, we can move on to the next steps. I see an error! <clears throat> okay, so now that that's fixed, I... What? No. No. God, please, no! No! Um, yeah, so I want to move on to the buildings in the surrounding area. You can see that I kind of ignored the slopes of the mountain, you know? I just really focused on the big geometrical squares that are all over the place. Which I did with exceptional accuracy, by the way, if you want to look at something like this corner over here. It's the same. I'm a god. But all the slopes, uh, they're very much dependent on the buildings around them, so I think it makes the most sense to do that next. I'm gonna start things off with this windmill because I can see at least two. Just copy paste it in this picture. So, seems like a good place to start. <clears throat> yeah, uh, if it wasn't obvious, I've never built a windmill before, but you know, that looks kind of okay, I guess. Um, and now I'm just gonna copy paste this one because the only difference between this tower and the other one is the roof. And seemingly the entire thing is made out of the light gray terracotta. All right, with the windmills done, I'm looking around my village and I am seeing that this house shows up at least three times. So that's next on my list. And the other one is the same, except it is reversed. And they don't get a window, because screw them, I guess. Moving swiftly on, we have our double acacia houses. So this one should be super easy. Yep, I was right. That was the easiest one. And I think I'm just gonna power through the rest of these really basic buildings. So enjoy a quick time lapse of me finishing up the rest of the small ones. And I'll get back to you when we get to some of these more fancy complex ones in the background. Approximately 17,050 houses later, give or take 17,000, 
And I have done all of the easy ones. <laughs> We've got a couple fancy ones, you know, like this this nice little church, the windmills, this, this little tower, I guess. Um, but what I have learned from this experience is that these are very basic and boring houses. And they are just copy-pasted everywhere. I did struggle a little bit with color choices because they didn't use real Minecraft blocks in the Minecraft movie, which is confusing. Uh, so I had to do the best that I could. The issue is now I'm left with this blurry middle chunk. I've got all the other houses. You can see with my, my green dots everywhere. But this middle chunk, I can't wrap my head around it. It all meshes together. It's all confusing. I think I'm gonna start with this brownish red looking roof in like the smack dab middle. You know what? That was kind of fun. Gave me some creative liberties. I, none of this exists, but it does now. This, this was more mentally engaging for my brain than copy-pasting these bland little houses. So I'll take what I can get. Next up, I think I'm gonna tackle this behemoth of a building that is right behind it. I don't really understand what I'm looking at though. So, I guess I'll just start placing blocks. Okay, I get it. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> what in the Jack Black did I just build? I'm feeling the same way. I don't know. Well, hear me out. Hear me out. Look at this picture. I built exactly what you see in the picture. It's got the spruce roof with the stone outline. It's got the weird blank gradient stone wall. And then for some reason, there's some dark oak mixed in. And then it looks like there's some kind of patio all in the same building. It doesn't make any sense. I don't get it either, but that's where we are, okay? That's what life is, that's what the movie is. Not my fault. But that's not all. If you look back at our image, you'll see there's this like bridge connecting from this building over over there somewhere. And I, I don't, wait, hold on. Is that a chicken? Is there a freaking chicken on the roof? What does that mean? The chicken broke me. <clears throat> I'm okay. I've collected myself. We are okay. I'm gonna build this bridge now. Uh, it's not gonna look very good because there's nothing to connect to yet, but that's a problem for later. For now, I'm gonna just place some blocks. Well, now there's a bridge. Does it look stupid? Yes. What am I gonna do about that? Pray to turtle Jesus that things will work out later. <laughs> that's all I can do. Okay, next on the list, I'm actually gonna build these spruce roofs that seem to connect to the bridge. I I don't know what the buildings look like because I could only see roofs, but okay, Creative Liberty, let's figure it out. So I did this, it's really cool. Uh, I really like how it turned out. You know, I got lots of detail. Um, big, cool door, yada, yada, yada. Um, if you hear some urgency in my voice, that's because some guy on Reddit just did this before me. And I've been spending so much time editing the first seven minutes of this video that I haven't done a lot of building recently and I've fallen behind and I wanted to be the first one to do it. And now I'm upset, but I'm gonna get this all done super quick. So I'm gonna get this house, this house, and this house done right now to finish up our background houses. Let's go, time is of the essence. And just like that, our background houses are done. We've got this massive dark one, which I hate, this massive spruce one, which I love, definitely my favorite one out of all the buildings so far. And then this really basic boring guy. But with most of the houses done, we once again circle back to our problem from the start of the video. Scale. 
because unfortunately I have no idea how big this map is until I actually finish the central arc. Which is something I've been very much procrastinating to do. So, not super excited, but we're gonna hop into this time lapse and try and fill out most, if not all, of this arc. Right, okay, so we have a problem. I think the right side is damn near perfect. The scale just works. Everything is exactly where it should be. The left side, I don't think is deep enough. It should be lower. But they're supposed to be on the same layer where I have the big long floor. So how could I make the left side deeper and keep the right side the same, but also keep them both on the same level? I, I, I don't know what to do. Wow, okay, I am a god tier rambler. Uh, basically, I've just extended the entire thing down by 10 blocks and fixed up anything that looked bad. That's it. Proceed. Okay, immediately, I like this a lot better. This looks good. I'm excited. Also, a little scared because now things are getting real. And I think I'm gonna try something a little crazy. I'm actually gonna start putting all my buildings in place without the ground and using this reference image and my angle right now to figure out where they're supposed to go within the image and then I'll fill in the ground after. Is this gonna work? I have no idea. Am I crazy? Absolutely. Okay, things are getting real. Oh my god. This is starting to look like a thing now. And that teeny tiny little time lapse was four hours of my life. But it was worth it because I think that was actually the hardest part. And now it's just an easy ride from here, which is really exciting because I have spent every second of my free time the last four days working on this. And I'm kind of losing my mind. And the windmills. Oh my god, the wind. I don't know how to tell you this. Windmills aren't real. This is fake. It's a figment of your imagination. Now I know how I sound. I get it, I hear myself. But just, just, just look, look, look at what I'm going to show you. I'm gonna take this windmill, and if I plop it right where it's supposed to go according to the image, we have two problems. One, it is way cl too close to the bottom of the screen. I don't have enough space. And number two, it's on the wrong level. This is supposed to be flat. This is like four blocks too low and it doesn't work and it ruins everything and windmills aren't real. Three hours of therapy later. Basically, apart from those stupid things that I shall not mention by name, uh, everything is perfect and is exactly where it needs to be. Except there is one notable thing you might notice missing from this image. The well, obviously. I can't believe I haven't built the well yet. Uh, but aside from that, we also have the castle. And I don't know why, but I've been kind of scared of actually starting to build this, even though it's the thing we have the most clear image of. I don't know. I think I'm just going to do it. And I think it's probably going to take like 10 minutes. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm going to conquer my fears. Okay, so maybe it took 45 minutes, but in my defense, the terrain was the part that gave me the most trouble, not the castle. I actually did really good on the castle. It looks fantastic. I even got some shading in here because I'm that good. From up close, it looks a little silly, but if we go to our viewing position, it just looks like texturing. It's darker because it's darker on the image because shadows, and basically what I'm saying is I am awesome. And now that every building is in place, minus some random junk, scattered in the middle that I'll figure out later. I can actually move on to the terrain. 
And again, I'm kind of scared. I don't, I don't know why I do that. I, I always figure it out, but it just intimidates me. Without further ado, let's get into the most transformative, trans, yeah, from the the most transformative time lapse of the episode. This is really gonna pull things together. Wow, okay, so a lot of things happened. <laughs> On the time lapse, I got all of this terrain done. Also, the hills over to your left. I also got the entire backside done. Very inefficiently, I might add, because I did a whole bunch of work that took like an hour and a half, and then I covered all of it up, and then I was wasting my time anyways because I was using World Edit when Axiom did that in like 15 seconds, and I hate my life choices. Anyway, so all of that looks great. Um, off of the time lapse, I extended all of this out again. I moved my viewing platform like 50 million blocks farther back, uh, because that let me fit in the windmills, which still, even with my new viewing space, do not line up properly, but it's better than not having them. Probably. Okay, next up, I'm gonna turn as much of the visible area into water as I physically can. Okay, I got all the water in place. And I really want to start speeding things up and getting the backside of this build in place next. But I just have to complain about the stupid continuity for a sec. If you look at our main picture, this is clearly a massive hill beside and behind the castle. But if you also look at the angle where it shows you behind the castle, it appears to be completely flat, both in front and behind. How you, you can't. You can't have it both ways, it doesn't work like that. And I'm angry and I don't know what to do. I'm just, I'm just gonna start placing houses and see how it goes, I guess. Well, for some reason that I can't think of any excuses for at the moment, uh, that took 45 minutes, but either way, it's done. And although I couldn't replicate the angle of the photo, uh, all of the houses do appear to be in the correct place. And I just kept kind of going. And I'll put a whole bunch of extra ones back here as well that you can't see. And now it is time for me to stop stalling and get all of the details in place. I'm talking trees. I'm talking bushes. I'm talking pathways. All of it right now. Let's get into it. And now that our details are in place, which of course made a massive difference, we are now entering the end game. It is almost entirely done. One thing I do want to fix before we move on is the texturing. Our arc doesn't look so great. It's very bland and boring. Same with our pathways, they're too solid. I want to mess around with some of the coloring, textures, and I think that's gonna help quite a bit. Wow, okay, I was not expecting it to make that much of a difference. <laughs> Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just fix up all the little inaccuracies, make sure every house has a door, and you know, make it kind of playable is the idea. And then, we're just about done. I'll be right back. Boom! Time for final touches. Increase render distance, slap on a juicy little shader, and finally, after God knows how many hours, I can finally say with chest, I have built the Minecraft movie in Minecraft. 99% accurate, 
fully explorable with a world download included and made with my very own blood, sweat, tears, and more tears. I cannot describe to you how free I suddenly feel. It's as much fun as this was to build. I did start to burn out towards the end and desperately wanted to get back to my survival series. With that being said, y'all please better like and subscribe to make all of my hard work and misery worth it. If you want to check it out for yourself, there will be a world download available in the description. And to add to the fun, I have hidden 10 Easter eggs around the build for you guys to try and find. Comment them down below when you find them for a special shout out in a future video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe. Do it.